Stephen Curry has got a brand new show. It starts tonight, 8.40 on Channel 10. It's called Mr. Black. I've seen the ads. Told you this yeah, morning, Carl's Jackie. Yeah, been talking Looks about it. Looks funny, Stephen. Good it. morning. Thank Good you. The you, show man. is longer than the ads. I just want to point that out. No, it's very similar theme, but it is a longer show. Than so what those. is the idea? Because we've seen you for, it feels like, our whole life uh, doing uh, great projects on yeah. television. And I used to play kids. I used to play bumbling kids. And I there was know. a bit of a crossover because now I'm playing a grumpy old, like, ex, like redundant sports <laughs> Journo with a 25 year old daughter. How did Can that I just happen? say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And I did say to them, Do you want to put in some extra wrinkles? And they said, No, we'll be fine. <laughs> no. They'd said, We'll be fine. They actually said, Smile. And I went, and they went, oh, we're good to go. We're good See, to go. I heard this yesterday where Charlie Theron. Yeah, uh, wasn't she? She thought she was being offered Wonder Woman. They said, you know, the, you know, there's a movie Wonder mm. Woman. We just mm. want you to have a look at it. And mm. she's like, oh, I can't. I don't know if I can. I don't know much about Wonder Woman. And they're like, no, we want you to play Wonder Woman's mum. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually got the role of Wonder Woman. So I, that's the other thing I wanted to come in and talk about. Yeah. That's yeah, that's heartbreaking, isn't yeah. it? And no one tells you that's about to come. No, yeah, that's and right. it's all of a sudden it's like, no, this is what we thought you'd have a 25 year old daughter I'm meant to be 28 I'm 43 I'm, I'm meant to be 48 sorry right. I'm 43 right okay. so it's not too bad yeah but my daughter the, the girl a lady I should say Sophie Wright who plays my daughter she's like I think she's like 30 or something oh, she, oh that's yeah. not fair oh, so you that's know that's fair. a bit heartbreaking yeah, yeah. so the idea that. is you've moved back in moved with back your daughter in. you've had, got an illness yep I've got ankylosing spondylitis I've got no job I'm unemployable I've got no money I've moved back in the house that my ex-wife's parents own right and all I have left in my life is an ability to try and break up my daughter and her boyfriend and why do you want to break them up because <sighs> he's too nice he's too, he's too new age right oh, you know I what I mean yeah, he I doesn't beer hurts his tummy he yeah. prefer a child Chilean Pinot. Yeah, right. I mean, what's wrong with that? I don't really like a Chilean Pinot every now and then. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is. It's very no similar clue. to New Zealand, but a bit further right. over. Yeah. But it's like, you know, I, yeah, he's like, and, and Finn, the, the, uh, played by Nick Russell, is actually the nicest guy in the world. So he is this but is the, it the, just, uh, the nicer boyfriend. he gets. Yeah, yeah, the nicer he gets, the more it bothers Mr. Black, basically. <laughs> Mr. Black wouldn't be waiting up wondering what the baby, what the royal baby's name no, is. No, no. Mr. Going to Black be. looks like he's, uh, he's, he's got a, some grumpy bum sort of activity going on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Abs- oh, hang on. I'm just seeing the TV in the background. They've got a name. It's Braxton with two X's. <laughs> the, the, the royal baby's no. name is Braxton it with two be. X's. It can't be. No, it's not. It's oh, you're God. absolutely right. That was a lie. Freaked out. I did wake up this morning and thought the baby's name was Baby Sussex. <laughs> like, I thought the name was Sussex. I thought, that's a, that's pretty kind of out there, isn't it? But uh, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. That's not right. Hasn't got a name they yet. haven't announced the yeah. name still. Did, when you've you got two little ones. I do. Six and four, two little boys. What did you name your kids? Uh, Sussex and Braxton. <laughs> uh, which, no, um, Arlo and Bo. Oh, and, nice. and my wife is at pains to point out that it's not B.O. Okay, yeah. Oh, and so I haven't got a problem s- with, with the name B.O., but yeah. she thinks not B.O. is B-E-A-U. Okay. French oh, for nice. handsome. Is it? I believe. It? <laughs> I did thought you, it was French for boyfriend. but yeah. Did you struggle to pick names or did you already oh, know mate. beforehand? No, no, I already knew beforehand that she'd decide and we'd agree. Right. Yeah. yeah. No. You, um, much of a say. No, we both have like a fairly long short lists, I guess, of names. But um, no, we're, we're pretty we're pretty good at agreeing on these sort of things. Yeah. Um, and then realised, and we went, you've got to go through the surname and how that goes, how That's the names it. go together. The middle, did you do middle name as well? We did middle name as well. Yeah. But then we sort of, they don't really get spoken they about don't. a lot. You're right, absolutely. So right. we thought Arlo and Bo, that's pretty nice. They both end in, 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 in the O sound, but we're okay. And oh. it wasn't until they were till Bo was born and named that we were it was pointed out that it's Bo and Arlo. Bo oh. and Arlo. Oh. Oh. So that if you say it fast, <laughs> it, we might have made a bit of a boo boo. I love but, that. A bo-bo. A bit I of a love bo-bo. that. So yeah, what what do you get recognised for the most? Do people because everyone you've done a lot of different sort of acting roles? Yeah, um, and a lot of different uh, um, platforms. Probably the castle, I guess. Yeah. Still the castle. Yeah, um, it was so all, huge that to that movie though. Yeah, it was huge, and it, and cha- and they just play it all the time on TV. Right it was on TV the other night. And my dad, go, my dad goes, he's pretty old school. My right. dad, he's almost a bit of a Mister Black actually, and he said to me, he goes, look, I I, I get it. I understand that people think that show is funny. That movie is funny. <laughs> Why does Dennis DeNuto, the lawyer, have to 
say all those swear words at the photocopier. Oh, he doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Pretty much most of the people who quote that film back to me are quoting Dennis Tenuto at the photocopier. It's like, you know, I think people like a bit of profanity every they now and then. They do. We like that. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Jackie loves made a career on it, haven't you, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. But see, people wouldn't think that Jackie likes it, but she swears probably more than I do. No, that's not off, true. Off, off do you go navy? Do you go a bit navy when the, when the mics are off? Yeah, yeah, I do. It's bad. I'm, I'm trying to stop myself okay. because people are even commenting on it on Instagram. Really? They're like, geez, Jackie swears a lot. Oh, you put it on the... In- on no, the- yeah. they film things here that she's unaware of. Oh. Yeah. The real Jackie gets okay. seen. Yeah, yeah, and then oh, they really? see it. The yeah, real Jackie like, wow. O. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Get used. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. It's, it's usually because they're playing pranks on me. That's why I see Oh, right. Okay, okay. So you're saying you only really swear when you're scared or you're frightened or... Oh, by the way, yeah, you're just, being filmed as we speak, so just... Yeah, you know, be I know. Yeah. Well, watch, watch your mouth here. So See, it's a frightened thing. It's a frightened thing. Yeah, like or just an annoyed thing. Like, you know, the other day they put um, lemon in my coffee. Now, See, if you ever put lemon in coffee, it curdles. At what point does this become workplace bullying? <laughs> is there, is there <laughs> a... I think. Can we get the charter and find out what the actual fine line is? is that, that's the charter oh, there. We've well and truly crossed it. Okay, Don't right. worry. And I'm the head of HR. you you get, Yeah, absolutely. I love playing pranks. Okay. She's the main so, instigator. Yeah, <laughs> pranks are my thing. I right. don't like pranks. He hates okay. I don't do them. I don't okay. like getting involved in okay. them. I certainly, if I'm aware, I'll tell Jackie right. and, and ruin yeah, other yeah, people's yeah, ideas. You will, actually. You're good like that. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to be able to walk free <laughs> through the world without fear. Remember they put yeah, someone in a luck. bin once and on uh, Halloween? I punched them straight in the head <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> oh, really? I got fried. I punched them straight in the head. And they got fired. Uh, that's yeah, right. <laughs> fired for frightening me. It's a great show. It's scripted it is, comedy. Yeah. Channel 10, well done for investing in some local scripted comedy. Yeah, yeah I agree. I Good. agree. And yeah, and created by Adam Zwa, who's such an incredible writer. Cre- created Wilfred and the Lowdown. Oh, and, that's hilarious. Um, and it's a joy. It's a real joy. So hopefully uh, people get on board. That Wilfred, we'll, that's where the guy was dressed yeah, up the as dog. the dog. Up as a dog. Yeah. And I got dressed yeah. up as a, a cockatoo in that you, show. You and did. I got eaten. <laughs> I lasted like three <laughs> scenes and got eaten by the guy in a dog suit. So, Mr. Black, it starts tonight, 8.40, yes. Channel 10, straight after MasterChef. Or whenever MasterChef. Chef wants yeah, to that could yeah, right. Who knows Depending how long they're going to eat those the, souffles for? Yeah, that's right. How long the, the, the bull bays take. Good luck with them, mate. I hope it does really well. Thanks. It looks like Stephen. it'll be very funny. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Thanks Stephen Curry on the air this morning. Here he kissed.